Hello everyone and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hi everybody. We are back with part 6 of our Super Mario Brothers 3 Let's Play. That we are. And we're trying to wrap this up. I think we'll be able to finish this in one... Yeah, who knows? It might be a little bit of a shorter one, but I didn't think last time we would finish in 15 minutes. We will find out, though, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. We will find out if I made the right or wrong decision uh, last time. Whoops. So, whoops. That's not good. I am going to have a snack, so if I get a little bit quiet or you hear wrapper crinkling, that's me having a snack. Yeah, we're just going to fly through this one. I was still a little bit hungry after my lunch today. The big um, question mark blocks are really cool. <laughs> I love them too. Yeah. Look at all the pretty sh shapes. I love that about this game. All right. Superb. Good job, everyone. So yeah, gotta ride this quicksand down to this little caveat. And then get some coins. No, nope. okay, well, let's just keep going. Whoops. Alright. Actually, this would be a perfect spot to get some traction. And fly. Yeah. Uh huh. Won't mean much, but we at least end on a star man. Yep, that's good. Yep. And now, probably one of the hardest levels in World Aid mm. the fortress. Because this is also a maze. Hmm. I've tackled this one before, so I probably should just keep going. Yeah. Alright, so... Ah! Get the mushroom. Yeah. Didn't think you'd see the conveyor belts again. <laughs> no. Whoa! Uh-oh. HD cable problem. Yes, and you guys can't see it, but uh, it kind of split the image. Yeah, and the picture is running slower than normal. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna snap some reference <laughs> of what we're putting through. Hopefully, it'll go back to normal in a minute. Yeah, because, uh, poor Mario is, uh... Yeah. It's All right, good, goes. good, excellent. So let's get a mushroom. I'm thinking a star. Yeah, it's throwing off our timing. That's true, because yeah. Mario was going much slower than mm -hmm. normal. And that's not a good thing, because... No. That can screw up your game. Yeah. This level's hard enough. I don't need the HDMI to make it even harder. Right. Let's get a super leaf. And then, like, the viewers don't see what we see. <laughs> That's right. So, like, that one time when we were playing Crash, and it just went completely black. 
So you, you just <laughs> so you got you loaded into the level and then you just fell because you didn't know you had to jump. Right. And so the viewers are probably like, "What the? What, why not? Why didn't he jump?" I know. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for that. But I mean, we explained it. But we did. Anybody who is listening with the audio off probably had no idea what we were doing. That's right. Yeah. And the way you complete this is the secret door shows up when the P button's pushed. Mm. But it's a good idea to get a fire flower here. Now let's dance with Boom Boom and... It's time to uh, go to the next Doom Tank. Alright, Doom Tank 2. That's right. I presume I'm going the right direction. Yes, this is it. Doom tank number two. Mm. All right. <sighs> no need to rush too fast, I think. <laughs> woof. Woof, woof. Yes, Luigi. Ah, yes. Uh, yes. Fun facts. Thanks to the episode from the Mario 3 cartoon, Luigi is the only character that appears in every episode of the of the Mario cartoon. Yeah, it's weird to think that there's a episode Mario doesn't appear. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thus giving Luigi one thing he has over <laughs> Mario of a few. Which was he was in every episode of the cartoon show. Even though he he spent a good portion of that episode as a dog, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So not exactly the best episode. Yeah, not the most dignified. Yeah. Or best written episode. Mm. But what can you do when you're a dog and yep. you have a king who is a tyrant and shoots magic lasers out of his wand, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Kamek does. In a way, yeah. That's a thing, too. Uh, or Magic Koopa, as he, he, he or she is sometimes called. Yeah. I don't even know if Nintendo knows the gender, but the movie went with male. The 80s cartoon went with male. Yes. For, but I feel yeah. like some of the video games went with female, so... Yeah. Whether it's... <laughs> Kaimek or Wisenheimer. Yeah. Who names a wizard Wisenheimer? I don't know. <laughs> and then they kind of were awkward with him because of that man. They were. Yeah. Very uncomfortably awkward, I have to be honest. Yeah. Not a decision that aged well at all, I'm nope. afraid. Not at all. Alright, let's take care of this guy. But sadly, 80s and 90s cartoons have instant, uh, several instances of that kind of thing. They do. Where you're like, oh, this is this is so embarrassing. Yeah. How was this okay at the time it happened? <laughs> yes. I think it's time to be a hammer brother. Ooh. Yes. Wow. Oof. Lasers. I forgot. Those statue things shoot lasers in this. Well, we're just gonna have to. Uh... Do our best. Yep. Well, we're making very good time. Yeah. This almost could have been a longer part five, but that's okay. Right. If it's a short part six, it's a short part six. True. Uh, maybe the ending will... Maybe the boss fight will be along with the ending. I don't know. Ooh. We, we will find out. Yes. Or... Nope. Or you'll die. Not to worry, we got plenty of lives, plenty of items. I don't see us losing. No. No. Nope, I don't think so either. Yep, pass the lasers. 
do 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 Okay. The candle where the flame comes off and follows you. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. Unnerving, honestly. What a nightmare. Yeah. Living flames. Yes. So do I. I love that checkerboard floor pattern. Yes. yes. It looks very good. Yep. And that's a callback. Mm-hmm. That is. We must be getting close. Yeah, I would say we are close. That we are. Alright. Take a quick pause. <laughs> Here we are. King Bowser Koopa, according to the cart, the comic and the cartoon. King Koopa. Yep. As he's known in Japanese. That's right. Yep. That's very right. In the Japanese games and stuff, he is King Koopa. Yep. Which makes sense because he was the Koopas. Yeah. The Cooper Trooper. Yep. Yep. Oh um, yeah, yeah, and they they um, remixed this music in uh, RPG. Yep. This theme. And this is gonna be a very short part six. Yes. <laughs> I could we could have done it in the last part. Oh well, guys. What? Yeah. What can we do? For the first time ever, you're gonna have a shorter final part. Yep. But I want to thank everyone for joining yes. our adventure, and I appreciate playing this game with you. Here we go. This is what happened. That's what happens when you don't put the cartridge in correctly. True. And you get those pretty colors. And there's Peach. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mario. But our princess is in another castle. <clears throat> oh, you. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> See you both. That was a fun game. Hey, we can watch some credits while we're... Curtains go down. Yep. <sighs> and we get a little show. Yes. Grassland. So the popular theory with this game was that it was all a play. Yeah. And uh, supposedly Miyamoto said, yep, that's right. Uh, yeah. I feel a little weird about this all being just a play. I do too. I'm like, what? So none of this is canon then? It was all a play put on? Well, that's a shame. I'm like, are you sure, or were you just saying that to make the fans happy? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Or were you like, oh, I like that idea better, so that's going to be canon from now on. Right. That yeah. Either one could be. As much as I love the guy, I don't always agree with Miyamoto's choices. I didn't know that the Hammer Brothers shell repels fireballs. Huh. Darkland, World 8. There's Mario, and there's Bowser. And that's the end of Super Mario Brothers 3. Yep, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you, everybody. And we'll see you in the next game. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye.